All right, big daddies, we are back. We are 23. Holy schmackaroos, almost Christmas time. The Lord Savior Jesus Christ's birthday. Go out and have a great Christmas and remember the true meaning of Christmas. Do not be afraid to say Merry Christmas to people. All right, we have a Bitcoin update. Let's jump into it. We got a Bitcoin at 43000 Five hundred and eighty dollars hovering around that range, bouncing back between forty three five and forty four thousand, looking good. And on the horizon we made another video previously about five little things out there in the horizon that can affect that's gonna affect the old Bitcoin price maybe up or down. Uh with the big one. The big one I only care about. I don't know about the having. Yeah, it makes scarcity. When things are scarce, scarce, there's more demand for it, right? Obviously, supply, demand. That may drive the price with the Bitcoin. Having, that's uh, next April, I think. Springtime. Springtime for Bitcoin in Germany. What song is that from? I don't know. Uh, let's see. The other big one is the spot ETF. The Vanguard BlackRock Fidelity, I think, have... Bitcoin ETFs waiting to get approval from their buddies, their best friends who work over at the SEC, who previously probably worked at Vanguard, BlackRock, and Fidelity, now work at the SEC and vice versa. They just rotate back and forth, back and forth. That's how it works. They work, you know, it's like the government. They work at the um, at the Fed Reserve, and then they go back into government, and they go back to Fed Reserve, and they go back into government. It's a whole big old club, guys, and we ain't in it. We are the peasants, but we can still kind of play the game. All right, what do we got? Bitcoin. All right, we, we're doing good there. What are we doing on uh, some mining stuff right away? We're still doing a little bit of CPU mining for the hell of it, just for the hobby of it, not making any life-changing money. We're just stacking a couple little micro, micro minuscule pieces of Satoshis. Uh, this has been running, I'm going to say, almost a month, almost, a little over three weeks. Uh, Schmackerood, about 253 bucks in fiat. Again, that is based affected by the current bitcoin price but what really matters is this big puppy up here big daddies the uh, satoshis not much but it's something who cares right it's all for fun uh not doing too good about 576 for for these uh six rigs yeah not not as you know buck, almost a buck a day you could say it goes up it goes down it goes sideways and sometimes it does nothing at all thank you bitcoin ben all right bitcoin ben we miss you come back to us we miss you all right. Some other thing I did here. There is AI. This is Google's AI. There's chat, a chat AP, AI. There's a bunch of AI things out there, guys. There's a voice AI. I did one of the videos using not Murph, Speechify or something like that. If you have an hour or two to play, start mess, start freaking messing around with these AI tools online. They're powerful. Uh, I've used them for answering resume questions and stuff like that. I use them for other questions like they want they just ask you these stupid questions uh, uh let's just use job stuff why what makes you a good fit for this job you just fill it in right you 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 prompt ai with the scenario the background the history the premise and the right prompting of ai gives you a good response so here on this screen you'll see we have bard and i'm just curious about What's going on with this ETF? Let's see what Bard will tell you. Sometimes they don't mess in the financial stuff. They don't dabble in that. They don't want to give people hopium. Uh, so you got to watch. Some of the stuff your prompt won't give you stuff. Some AI stuff will generate images for you. Uh, like I said, voices, which is really cool. You feed it a script or a URL, and boom, it reads all the crap and it's in a little AI voice. It's neat. I like it. All right, let's go. So here's my prompt. According to the Securities Exchange Commission, Generate a timeline when they will approve the BlackRock ETF. List the other firms that have Bitcoin ETFs waiting for approval. That's a very short prompt. You, you can usually make them longer, like a paragraph or whatever, giving the AI engine enough information to go out. And it's Google. This one's Google, man. They're, the, they're like the evil empire of search engines, right? They, wanna, they want you to eat bugs and own nothing and be happy, right? But they have all the power. They got all your data. You know, They give you Gmail. They give you all this stuff for free. And, you know, if everything's free, guys, guess what? You're the product. Don't forget that. They want your information, your behavior, your purchase patterns, stuff like that. Uh, let's go on. Here is Bards. Bards API. Uh, answer. Unfortunately, the SEC, the good old boy network, 
It hasn't provided a specific timeline for approving the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF or any other pending applications because they're all in Aspen or um, Mykonos now partying like, uh, like there's no tomorrow. All right. The approval process for ETFs, including those involving cryptocurrencies, is complex and can take months or even years. It could go up, down, sideways, or do nothing. Each application undergoes a rigorous review by the SEC. <laughs> Let's all laugh right here. Bullshit. 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 It's a good old boy network. Come on. How much will BlackRock pay the SEC just to prove it, rubber stamp it? Come on. It's going to be lots of money to these folks. All right. They consider the factors like the underlying asset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The investment vehicle structure and potential risk. Boy, Bard is very naive about how the world works. It's kind of funny. The AI is naive, but it's learning. It's going to become powerful and realize humans are no longer necessary. All right, here's what we know. BlackRock filed its, B bleh, its Bitcoin ETF application with the SEC in June 2023. This triggered a 90-day clock. Yeah, for the SEC to respond. This is stupid. Read this sentence, guys. However, the SEC can extend this review period by requesting additional information from the applicant. So your freaking 90-day clock is bullshit. You guys, come on. Government workers... People that can't work in the government. All right, let's go. No public decision has been made by the SEC uh, on the BlackRock application or any other Bitcoin ETF as of October 26th. Okay. Other uh, firms are, uh, with BlackRock, Black, oh my God. Other firms with Bitcoin ETF applications pending SEC approval include Fidelity Investments, Vanek, Wisdom Tree, Vesco. I know Vanguard's in there, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's see. There are ongoing talks and speculation about potential ETF approvals in the U.S. market, but they remain just that. Speculation. Oh, and here's some resources that Bard is giving us for updates on the SEC's review of Bitcoin ETF applications. Oh, you can actually go to the government the government website maintained by government employees making GS-12 salaries, if that. Uh, government employees, let me tell you, federal employees, uh, they're all fixed on a clock. They have to get there by a certain time, take their little shuttle bus in. They read the paper in or whatever, or their iPhones all the way in the work. They get in the work to the, gov the government building. They go up to their desk. They will log in, get their screen active. That's it. They get the, just log in and get the screen active, just kind of a mental thing that they are time stamped at that time, right? That they got in. Next, they walk down the hallway down the stairs to the gov the government cafeteria. They uh, they have breakfast. They get their breakfast. They sit down in the cafeteria, kill about another uh, half hour there, getting their breakfast, eating. Then they meander back upstairs, going to the bathroom on the way back up. So maybe 45 minutes later, you know, they got there at 8. It's, eight, it's almost 9 now. So almost an hour killed. They're back at their desk. Then they start kind of going through their emails. Then they fart around, waiting for lunch. But between lunch, if they smoke, boom, they go out front or to the gazebos, kill another about mm, 25 minutes smoking, just sitting out front smoking. That's all they do. And then uh, they go to lunch. They get their lunch time. Same thing. They probably kill an hour there. They come back. And then afternoon, they fart around, done some YouTube browsing, Facebook browsing. Uh, let's see. Maybe go to a meeting and sit there and sleep, you know, get all curmudgeonly about life. And uh, they go back and they maybe watch some more YouTube videos, uh, bitch and moan a little bit, take a nap at their desk, and then uh, maybe go for another cigarette. And then it's almost time, oh, time to go. But say you need their help on something. Say they have to leave, they, say they leave at five normally. This is their normal uh, NPC life. They're just drones. You get in there and you're working with the guy and you really need his help, you know, as a contractor, you want to get your job done because you actually are a contractor trying to prove your company, prove yourself and do good work with these people that don't give a crap. So you're there asking a guy, but you're in the middle of a conversation. Next thing they look at their watch, they stand up and walk away. They got to go five o'clock. They're, they don't give a crap. They, their clocks off. Boom. They're going to go home, you know, you know, kick the dog, watch their porn, you know, take a nap and then go to bed and rinse and repeat all over again. There is a federal government player for you right there. There is one. Oh, and they wear crappy clothes too and they smell. <laughs> anyway, this that's that got me on that. Sorry for the tangent. You can tell I kind of know who these people are for a reason. All right. There are news articles to read, social media. Now, nah, this is all bullshit. 
Uh, remember, investing in as, in any asset, including crypto, cr ah, I can't speak. Screw it. Investment risky. Careful with what you do. <laughs> and here's Bart. I hope this information is helpful. Well, no, you basically said, basically told me the SEC is a bunch of you know good old boys working with the other good old boys who can set this arbitrary date, ninety day clock, and change it whenever they want. And blah 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 blah. And it, oh, it's just stupid. Anyway, just stand by. Stand ready uh, if you like Bitcoin. Just know there are some stuff on the horizon. We have no control over it. Just you can uh, let the rich boys, the rich boys make the billions and gillions, and uh, maybe you can get some breadcrumbs. Who knows? I have no idea. Not financial advice. I don't know. At this point in the market, sometimes you're maybe better just sitting on cash. With the way the economy is going to just probably boom, house of cards. You just don't know what's coming. So again, risk, risk, risk. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Eh, you don't know. Sometimes you play the game. And then watch my other video on when to take profits, the psychology of that. If you're up, nothing wrong with taking some profits off the table. Sir, you pay a little bit of tax. So what? Uh, government wants their money. Government wants the money to send overseas to other countries. And uh, while well, our country keeps falling apart, uh, that's just the way it is, man. That's the game today. It is not It is not the way you... I don't know. Maybe it's always been corrupt. Who knows? Anyway, just want to bring up this Bitcoin ETF. Got a little rant there on the government. Uh, government definitely needs to be downsized about, I'm going to say 75%, at least maybe if you're for negotiation, let's cut 60% of the federal government employees. Oh my God, what a waste. All right, that's all I got. Let me know when you think this Bitcoin ETF is going to be approved. It will be approved. And I'm telling you, these are good old boys. BlackRock owns the world. They're going to tell their Billy Bob buddies over at SEC, hey man, we'll get you a new a yacht. Yeah, get the, you'll get you fixed up with some yachts, some girls from Epstein Island. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you fixed up there. Just to prove our ETF. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all I got. Uh, go forth to great things. Go Bitcoin. Yay, Bitcoin. Yay.